This does not mean that we always use our frontal lobe all the time. That is not how humans are. We also have this part of our brain called the amygdala and it you know, can get fired up. It's in charge of lots of different feelings. And if we are in fight, flight or freeze, our body will switch out of that thinking in the frontal lobe. And then we start to have these bigger emotions and it's really hard for us to sort of control that. So, but what's nice and what is good about when we get to that age of 25, we have a little bit more control in terms of getting into that frontal lobe, getting into that problem solving state, as opposed to being run by our emotions and our feelings and whatever is happening to us in the moment. But we can strengthen it. So even though we have that ability to get into that, we need to be able to focus and practice. What does it look like to have problem solving? How do we get ourselves calmer in those moments when we are having a hard time? What is our What are our strategies when we are having big feelings? Are we able to use mindfulness? Are we using some strategies like positive self-talk using imagination and visualization, all these strategies that we can use to help us get our bodies and our brains out of that fight, flight, or freeze back down to rest and digest and being able to use our frontal lobe. So we just got to practice. And it is the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So I have a follow-up question for you. At what age do we start doing that? Because you don't just become able to reach into your frontal lobe and do things. Do we handicap our children at young ages by telling them everything and doing everything for go sit down over here? Mm -hmm. I got it mm -hmm. going out my way. 